So the worst thing about this bar is you gotta go back down after you've had a few drinks. Check this out. Corchel is an island in the Dalmatian archipelago, surrounded by a medieval fortress. As we entered the gate, we were greeted by the gate guardian. Luckily for me, I had the currency necessary to gain passage. Corchula also lays claims to be the birthplace of Marco Polo. It's really easy to get here. The ferries run every single day. Corchula, Old Town's connected by these narrow streets all leading up to the church, the center, the heart of the city. As we arrived at St. Mark's Square, we decided to take a look from the top of the cathedral tower and that's the Cathedral of Sveti Marko or St. Mark. What is the oldest church here? Uh, the oldest church is the uh, church of the St. Peter mm -hmm. and it's uh, around from the 10th century. Wow. And, and this, this church where we are now is St. Marko? Uh, yeah, St. Marko is from the uh, 15th century. 15th century. Yeah. We're about to enter the St. Marko bell tower. You ready, Marina? Yes. Very, very narrow you know, here. It's a green light. The green light that means person. we go. Oh. Is that what it means? One That's person? Right. Only one person. Oh. Go. So you're not going to believe the stairs here. They're so narrow. So I'm going to show you my foot. This is my foot. Okay? That's how narrow it is. I have to walk sideways to get up here. <laughs> Still have a long ways to go. There's the view. We're about halfway up. A lot more to go. The stairs are really, really narrow. Just to kind of have an idea. And there's more to go. Here she comes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From the top, we can see all the neighboring islands and an overview of the town of Corchula. This used to be a farming and a fishing village way back in the 4th century BC when the first recorded document was found. Uh, right there down that alley, and that's where we stayed. Hey, here we are in our apartment. You won't believe this, but we are like in the best location ever. Look at this, we have a sofa. Big screen TV, two big windows, and by the way, they overlook the St. Mark's Church Cathedral. And look, what's this? Who's in the kitchen? Cooking spaghetti. Here's our beautiful bedroom. By the way, the church bells ring every 15 minutes. So at night, we'll probably end up... There they go! We decide to go for a stroll along the wall and pick up a souvenir or two. This old town has many distinct architectural styles. So we're in Corchula and uh, right now there's a storm coming. There's a huge wind blowing up and we're about to explore the wall around this old town. Surrounding the whole town is a massive stone wall from the 14th century with many observation decks. We're here to discover more about the Marco Polo connection. We're at the Marco Polo shop buying some souvenirs. So much to choose from. Lots, Lots to choose from. Then we visited the Marco Polo Museum. So here we are at the Marco Polo Museum. We wanted to learn more about one of the world's greatest travels. Here's the, ta the nautical table. The museum features many exhibits uh, depicting his life story. Beginning, of course, from the desert scene as they travel through it to get to China, the Kublai Khan court and his time there, his love story with the princess, and the struggle to come back home with the ship. So after visiting the Marco Polo Museum, we headed over to the city museum where we would check out more facts on the town of Corchula and when they were at war with the Venetians, which was often. The town museum is located in St. Mark's Square, located in the 15th century Renaissance building. 
So when Marco Polo was here, there was just a couple of streets. His father and uncle were part of the people who built the wall. The museum houses many ancient collections depicting the town's history, the eldest being a stone plaque written in Greek from the 4th century BC. The first people who settled here were the Illyrians. They chose uh, elevated land to build on because it was easier to defend, which is why they were the first ones who basically established a settlement in Korchula. Mm -hmm. And after that, the Greeks came. The Croats arrived in the 9th century, and then the Venetians arrived in the 10th century and ruled Korchula to 14th century. During their time, architecture and culture grew. Korchula was also known for shipbuilding and stonework, and of course Marco Polo's family was part of that, uh, that laid the foundation for this town. Hey, you want a cup of tea? Sure, you think it still works after all these centuries? I was kind of disappointed we came too early and we didn't get to see the more place. We wanted to explore more of the old town. These little sidewalks are made from cobblestones. Look at them. They're awesome everywhere you look. There's history, history. I wonder if my key works. Let's try it. Oh, nope. <laughs> you can see the influence of the Venetia Renaissance everywhere, with its mix of Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque styles. Engraved on that pillar is a symbol with two chickens, which was Marco Polo's family crest. And this is the Church of St. Peter. Here we are by the map of Marco Polo here in Corcula, which is Marco Polo's home place. We are in Corcula. One of the plans uh, that we have is to break the journey of Marco Polo into several stages. Oh, Marina, how does it feel to be in a church where Marco Polo himself was in? It's amazing. I mean, I can just picture him here. I mean, this church was already 200 years old when he came here. You know, um, his father would have been here, his uncles, his family. This was it. This was, this was the heart of it all. Because everybody back then was, you know, worshipping. They were Christians. And right next to St. Peter's Church is the house where Marco Polo was born. And here we are in front of the Marco Polo house. It was time for a drink. We heard about this world famous bar that's on top of the wall. Cheers! All right, on the rooftop bar, Massimo, Massimo in Cortula. What you drinking? Sex on the beach. Oh my god. What's this? Wishful thinking. Uh, Miss Croatia. Look at this fantastic view. All around. <laughs> so Marina is attempting the descent from the Mas so what's the name of this bar? The Massimo bar. On top of Corchula. Okay, let's see how this is going to play out. <laughs> so far so good. So far so good. But you got a long ways to go. Oh my god. God, look at that, it's straight down, straight down. <laughs> oh, let's see if she makes it. I'm recording this just in case. You there want me go. to fail. No, don't I don't you? want you to fail. So here we are, Cortula. If you're gonna know, I was pretty emotional coming into the city and thinking that this was our ancestral home. Uh, I think we were both feeling pretty overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Felt like home, felt like coming home. 
Yeah. We've only been here for a day and you know we've already got that vibe that uh, we don't want to leave. <laughs> so here's my travel tip. When you're traveling in Europe and you have big suitcases, don't do it. Pack light because this is what you're going to be contending with. So one of the enemies of Corchula was the Venetians and the observation post there with many little holes there, little windows, which where soldiers would stand and defend the city and just guard it against the Venetians coming on their sailing ships. So it's like an observation and, and a guarding post. But before that, we know that all this was under the Venetian rule. And we know that Venice was at war with Genoa. When Marco Polo returned from China and settled in Venice, he joined the war against Genoa. In 1298, during a battle fought right here in front of Corchula, he was captured. Where are we, Marina? We're at the Hotel Marco Polo. We're at the Hotel Marco Polo, and we're going in for a drink. So here we are, we're having some beer at the Marco Polo Hotel. Hey, what they didn't have, it's a Harvashko vino, oh, Harvashko pivo, it means, uh, beer or because use, uh, or yeah we we're trying it we kind of like the Hrvashko, uh, you know beer here it's pretty good we Croatian did? beer yeah, yeah we do. and there you can see the old town from here there's the old town where's our the apartment? ocean yeah our apartment is right where that church is and of course it had to end with a strudel is that apple yeah I don't do forks I do bites mm. That's so good. Then we took one last stroll through the town and said goodbye to our new friends and wished them well. Then we went for supper at the restaurant overlooking the Marco Polo house. Woohoo! It's video. Oh, video. It's video. Hi. There you go. There it is. Oh, no, look at that. We're the second one. The result is fantastic. Yeah. To get the Marco Polo risotto, mm -hmm. which is an old family recipe, yeah, which has got old shrimp in it, and then we got a delicious grilled white fish. I love the fish mm -hmm. and grilled veggies. Mm -hmm. What? Just what doing you? laundry? That's what you do when you're here. You hang up your laundry for everybody to see. You know your dirty drawers. <laughs> They're clean drawers. I wash them. Stop it. Take that off. Okay, I want to close them on the underwear. Stop it. Look, there's the people. Nope, there's no people. You're lucky. <laughs>